Tesla just released a free over the air update, which actually is way more important than people realize. In fact, this is what all cars should be doing. All new cars should have this feature. I think it's vital. I use the Waze app. If you don't, well, you should. And here's how new cars can actually talk to technology, making all of us much, much safer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. Within the last 48 hours, both Toyota and Hyundai have released information that they too are joining the subscription services thing. This is the kind of stuff that, you know, we're seeing brands now saying you need to pay more to get a subscription to have services like this, what Tesla has just released. I'm kind of trying to fight against that a little bit because I don't think the average buyer is going to be willing to pay subscription fees for these kinds of services in the future once they're available. I think these are the kind of safety features that we all need. Now, for example, Tesla's new feature, it's a new safety feature, and they push new safety features over the air on their software updates constantly to try and improve their cars. But this one is a little bit different, and it actually involves a couple of different features. Now, Tesla is going to implement this new vehicle hazard warning system through a partnership with Emergency Safety Solutions, Inc., or ESS, creator of the Hazard Enhanced Location Protocol System, called HELP. Emergency Safety Solutions describes the HELP system for disabled vehicles on the highway. ESS Hazard Enhanced Location Protocol HELP is designed to provide highly conspicuous lighting and digital communication using existing vehicle lighting systems, in-vehicle telematics, OEM cloud platforms, and navigation application systems. So it sounds like the video makes it look like this system is simply designed to change the hazard lights. They flash quickly if the vehicle pulls over to the side of the road. And there's actually a lot more to this system than that, though. This utilizes a multi-pronged approach that improves hazard lights with a higher refresh rate, which is apparently proven to improve safety. This helps to alert drivers behind that a car has stopped on the side of the road so they don't hit it, for example. Or even if it hasn't stopped on, on the side of the road. I mean, sometimes cars break down or have crashes in the middle of the road and you come around a corner, you see it and bang, you hit it. But if you have flashing lights that flash in this way, you're more likely to see it beforehand. But if you have an app, you're using Google Maps, you're using Waze, you're actually going to potentially see this car way before you actually see it with your eyes. You're going to see it on your app first. Now, Today, the company announced it is working with Tesla to implement this technology in its lineup of EVs. So Tesla will be the first company to implement this technology. Emergency Safety Solutions, Inc., creator of the Hazard Enhanced Location Protocol, help revolutionizes vehicle hazard warning systems to help prevent crashes in disabled and vulnerable vehicles, and their occupants announced today has signed a global agreement with Tesla to deploy this technology in North America initially via over-the-air software update, and hopefully in other countries as well. Tom Metzger, CEO of ESS, commented on the announcement. He said, this is great for significantly increasing roadside safety. Tesla is a leader in bringing first-time innovation to passenger vehicles and is leading the way by implementing this system technology on potentially millions of Tesla vehicles worldwide. So it sounds like this is going to come worldwide eventually, maybe soon. I'm not sure on that. It's a monumental step in the effort to overcome the troubling safety issue of crashes into disabled and vulnerable vehicles which tragically injure or kill tens of thousands around the world every year. I mean, if you thought, think about this, right? If you get into your car and just drive your car, it's the most dangerous thing that 99% of people do on a daily basis. So actually, I mean, millions of people are killed every year. So I think Tesla's efforts to make their cars safer is incredibly important and it shouldn't be overlooked. There's all this media right now, in particular coming from this ridiculous Australian website who've created this global kind of scandal, making it out as though Tesla scammed the crash test in Europe in order to get the Model Y the highest safety score in history. Now, of course, the Model Y gets safety score in history and the media come up with weird convoluted ways of how this must be some scam. It is impossible that Tesla's vehicles could be the safest cars in Europe or in America or everywhere in the world. There must be something behind this. You know, this hacker Green comes up with this story. There's some special code here and clearly Tesla have scammed the system. And eventually, you know, European, the European safety company who's in charge of all this said, no, it's not a scam. The Tesla vehicle is in fact the safest vehicle ever tested. 
Now, when the Tesla vehicles in Europe also get this technology, that will be even safer again. So to me, this is what I call upping the game. Now, Tesla isn't charging you for this. You're getting this for free. You know, if you want this for free in your Toyota, it's impossible. If you want this for free in any other brand, you now have to pay a subscription service, or in fact, that's if you even can get it. Now, realistically, you can't actually get this in any other cars right now other than Tesla vehicles. Hopefully, they roll this out in other brands. Hopefully, other brands see what Tesla's doing, and then that's the impetus for them to want to use this software as well. But whether or not they're capable, those cars are capable, because that's another story. Now, your car, the brand of car, needs to be able to talk to the internet. It needs to be able to talk to Waze. It needs to be able to talk to their systems, because what will happen now is when you have a crash, right, or when there's a car in the road or there's some sort of safety hazard, that data will be instantly logged online and then Waze will be able to instantly put on their map, on their version of Google Maps, which I'm sure a lot of you know and use. I do, I use it all the time because it helps me to avoid speeding fines. And also it helps the roads to be safer, right? Waze is a system like Google Maps where it's a user system and you can actually put things in there, hazards in there. For example, last weekend I drove through an area where the road was flooded and someone told me the road was flooded so I didn't have to just drive through. I came around a corner and it was quite sudden, but fortunately I knew about it if I wasn't using Waze, I would have known there was a flood there. Same thing here, right? Come around a corner and the Tesla vehicle will be able to tell the system Waze instantly, automatically, that there is a hazard and it can update the system for everyone else. So they'll know that there's a hazard there. Now, I believe this is the start of something much bigger. This is the start of vehicles talking to the network, talking to each other. That's the future of, of autonomous cars. That's the future of driving. That kind of future will be much, much safer for everyone. The, I mean, for example, the road toll will go down by at least 90% within a very short period of time once cars can talk to each other and can talk to apps like this, like Waze, for example. Now, according to the ESS, there are more than 72,000 people yearly in the US that are affected by incidents with disabled vehicles with 15,000 injured or killed. And this goes some way to helping people be safer. Now, this is not just good for Tesla drivers. Keep that in mind. If you don't drive a Tesla, it's going to be good for you as well, because if you use the Waze app or maybe Google as well, they may be able to actually update their maps with this information as well. Then you'll know about hazards involving potentially Tesla vehicles and other vehicles. Let's say, for example, someone hits a Tesla. Let's say, for example, there's a big multi-pile crash, like 20 cars are involved. If only one of those 20 vehicles are a Tesla, Waze will be instantly updated. You'll be aware of it. And potentially that'll mean you'll avoid that crash as well. So. I think the media needs to stop with this kind of witch hunt for saying Tesla's scamming the safety system. It can't be true that their vehicles are the safest ever. This is not possible. I think let's move on from that. That's childish. That's emotional. That's clickbait. Let's focus on saying, hey, you know what? Maybe the media should say other brands, Tesla is doing this. Why aren't you? Why are you charging for this stuff? You know, why aren't you implementing these safety features? Maybe it's time you follow their lead. That would be a better way to look at it. And that would mean the media would be being responsible, helping save people's lives, rather than doing what I think is pretty much the opposite right now. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Bye-bye.